Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Hey everybody, I know we're in the throes of winter, but summer is coming. So let's start talking about summarizing your rig. All right, so the first installment, yes, I'm holding the hose. The first installment to summarizing your rig is if you have actually stored it for a couple months, a couple weeks or whatnot, this is a good time to go ahead and start sanitizing your water systems. Now in this video, because it's only two minutes long, let's tackle the water heater. I know for a lot of you, what you do is you'll, you'll go out and you'll buy that little wand, right? Because you wanna clean the inside of that water heater. You've winterized it, you've got your anode rod or your drain plug out, there's no water inside your tank. And you go in and you look inside and you see all that calcium buildup. No one wants to drink that water, right? If you buy that little pick, which is what I call it, a water pick, that's all that you're doing. Now let's think about this. One thing we don't understand, that entire tank can be covered in that calcium deposits. And using a little bitty pick of water, it's gonna take you forever to clean that out. What I wanna do is give you a way to go ahead and get rid of all of that. Now you keyboard warriors, I know you're out there. Listen to me, a way. It's my preferred way, I think it's the best way, but yes, there are other ways. Here's the items that you need. I want you to buy a small section of water hose. Now this is just a little three foot um, hose. There's two adapters that you need to buy. One adapter I'm gonna have you get is what we call a shutoff valve. Now this is gonna be for garden hose. So you're looking for a three quarter inch GHT to three quarter inch GHT shutoff valve, all right? Now GHT just simply stands for garden hose thread. Ding! Garden hose thread goes into a garden hose, right? Now on the other side, you have to listen, you have to know what type of tanked water heater you have. Now there's two main brands, you have your Suburban and you have your Atwood Dometic. If it's a Suburban, the fitting that you're gonna get on the other side of the water hose is three quarter inch GHT to three quarter inch NTP. This fits, this fitting actually fits into where you put your anode rod. So you have that fitting here. I'll explain what we're gonna do here in just a minute. If you have a Atwood Dometic, it'll be a three quarter inch GHT to a half inch NTP, all right? These are the hardware items that you need in order to clean out your tank or sanitize it. One more item we need, two gallons, of food grade or two gallons of restaurant grade vinegar, 30%, 40% vinegar. All right, so let's talk about what we're doing. Did you know that vinegar eats calcium? If you put vinegar in that tank, when there's no water in it, fill it up with vinegar, let it sit for eight hours, all that calcium will be eaten. The question is, how do you get the vinegar into the water heater? You do this whenever your water heater is bypassed. So if you have a uh, water-based system, put it in the winterization mode. If you don't have a water-based system, go to your bypass valve, turn it off. Shut the flow of water off and dump the water out. So this is whenever your tank is empty. Remember, we are summarizing. Cool thing about physics, what you can do is actually put uh, vinegar in, and as long as the hose is higher than the tank, gravity takes over and it will actually fill that tank up. So all we're using the hose for, one side I put like a, maybe a funnel, and I'm gonna slowly pour vinegar in there and it will actually fill up the tank as long as my hose is taller than my tank. You open up your PNT valve and you pour in vinegar. Now if you do two gallons of the 30 to 40% per, uh, vinegar, you can add water, all right? What we wanna do is put two gallons in and let it sit for eight to 12 hours. Now here's the question, or here's where this fitting comes in. We already understand this fitting. This is actually going into the water heater. This fitting is the shutoff valve because once I pour that vinegar in there, how that, do I stand there for eight hours? Ain't nobody got time for that. All we have to do is turn the shutoff valve in the off position, drop it, no vinegar is gonna come out. So you come back eight to 12 hours later and you simply open this up and milky water comes out, okay? Now all you have to do is once that milky water comes out, fill it back up, hook it up to a water hose, fill it back up and pour that out until it becomes clear water. Once it becomes clear water, Ding! Your water heater is actually sanitized. There's no 
calcium deposits in there. All right, so by doing that, you've sanitized your tank. You've got all the calcium out. Most of us, we may not drink out of the hot water. That's gonna be so darn clean. Good hot water, whether you want to or not. Once you do that, then you go to your regular process of dewinterizing. Check over the next couple of weeks for some more summarization tips right here on nrvta.com YouTube channel. There's a tech tip. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs and get started today. It's a low budget thing we got going on right now, right? I don't have my green man. So that's the part you're going to use right there. <laughs> now I know for a lot of you, well, <laughs> it magically disappeared. Ooh. Shut off valve. Oh, I'm sorry. Now one evapor, <laughs> one evaporator. You think that was good? Do you think that was stupid? No, I, I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Check out that video here, or here, or here. And there's your tech tip.